The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I am Enrico and uh, today I will guide you uh, throughout the third episode of the Scary Mirror project. In this uh, today episode, we will deal with the completion of the scale mirror structure to make it robust and reliable, and the development of the lighting software with the NeoPixel strips with the Arduino board. To finish to assemble and work comfortably the mirror, that uh, also should remain in a vertical position, using some bolts now we fix the interior uh, to the container, to the uh, frame of the mirror. Uh, now I will hot glue four blocks of cardboard to protect the back of the mirror when it is uh, uh, placed uh, on uh, the wall or vertically against uh, something else. That's all. Our mirror can be set in place for programming and settings. Now the mirror is set temporarily in place. The back side with the electronics and the board and the wiring is easy accessible for connecting to the computer and programming the software. For the Arduino light I have set up a program uh, first of all, with uh, a series of uh, predefined color sequences and then uh, launched it uh, to see that uh, every feature of the colors I want, the fire color and then the blue uh, light called color, will work uh, as uh, I need. After the first uh, test version, I have created the Arduino lighting sketch including the uh, wire library and the uh, I2C uh, callback function to execute the commands that we receive by the Raspberry Pi to show uh, the, lighting, the desired lighting effect. Uh, due to a series of uh, big issues in the communications that is not reliable and uh, I have also saw uh, this uh, occurs to many other users um, of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus uh, for this first version of uh, the scary mirror, I have decided that the Arduino board lighting uh, mechanism will uh, actuate autonomously independently by the Raspberry Pi behavior. During this third episode, we saw how we have created the software to manage the NeoPixel lights uh, to create the effects for the scary mirror, as well as the problems I had to communicate uh, between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino board with the i 2 c protocol. Uh, don't hesitate to comment on uh, the blog on element14.com slash presents. In the next episode, we will see the final phase of the project, some of the Raspberry Pi scripts to control uh, the scary mirror, and finally, the scary mirror in action. <music>